Welcome everyone to another edition of The Travel Show with your host Ted Blank. I'm so darn excited because Ted is here to tell us about a really great opportunity that we have to not only meet him, to join him, and to learn more about what's going on next summer in the Mediterranean. Great to see you. How have you been? I've been doing really well. Good to be back. So, well, we're talking about the Mediterranean. And can you tell me exactly what countries that entails? So it's going to be France, Italy, Malta, (laughs) Turkey. Oh. Yeah. So more countries than I guess I am envisioning. Yeah, it's a big big body of water that's down underneath the southern end of Europe. Tell us about what you wanted to talk about. Yeah, so um, one of the things I do in my business is that I host cruises. And so I... What's that like? it's, It's a blast. It's a lot of fun. Um, It's a chance for me to meet new people, renew old acquaintances, and, you know, just get a group of kind of like-minded people together and to enjoy some time on a nice luxury cruise. I just did that in Alaska That's at right. the beginning of July. Yep. So now this is the 2023 version, but instead of going to Alaska, we're going to go on a cruise in the Mediterranean. It sounds like a beautiful cruise. It is. Yes. I'm very much looking forward to it. So you actually are inviting people to come and learn more about it at an informational meeting. Tell us, please. Yeah. yeah. So I'm hosting an informational meeting. It's going to be on Wednesday, August 3rd at six o'clock at the Lake Elmo Inn. Kind of fancy, if, Yeah, kind of a fancy place. But after after hearing the show, if you're interested, just give me a call at 651-964-8245, and we'll add you to the list. And it'd be fun to meet you and talk about cruising the Mediterranean. So for people that have never cruised before, why do you recommend cruises? A lot of reasons that I like cruising. But I think when you're going to a place for the first time or even for the fifth time, um, a cruise gives you a lot of options in terms of how you see things. And your luxury hotel goes with you. So instead of, of, isn't it great? Yeah. So instead of having to pack and unpack every night to go to a new destination, you get on the ship, you unpack once, and every day you wake up and outside of your window, there's a new world awaiting you to explore. So it's a really civilized way to travel. You know, cruises are very, very nice in and of themselves. But when you're looking to explore a destination, I think they're a great way to do it. And if you look at the map of the Mediterranean, almost everything you want to see is right on the coast anyway. So what will this cruise look like? It starts in Rome, Italy, and it ends in Venice in Italy. And so we're actually going to kind of slowly make our way around the southern tip of the boot of Italy and then head over to Greece, spend a little time in Greece and the Greek islands, pop over to Turkey, and then head up to Venice in the um, Adriatic Sea. And on the way, we're going to stop in Croatia. So you get kind of a sampler of the eastern Mediterranean. Well, it sure sounds like it. Can you please give us some of the highlights? So where will we go? I'm just pulling up a map of the Mediterranean. Yeah, yeah. So, so I can cruise. play along at home. <laughs> so we can play I along. would encourage other people to do this. <laughs> yeah, pull up, pull up a map. If you're driving, you know, pull over oh, before yeah, don't you do pull that. up your exactly. map. <laughs> um, so the cruise is going to start in Rome. And one of the okay. neat things on this cruise is that if you book a certain category of stateroom or above, you actually get a free night in a hotel in Rome before the cruise and a free night in Venice after the cruise. Oh, nice. So it gives you a chance to spend a little more time in those destinations. So I see, I see we're flying into Rome. Yep, fly into Rome, and we'll start in Rome, and then we'll head south. And we're okay. actually going to go to the Bay of Naples. And Naples is where the city of Naples is in Italy. And interesting place. Um, if you're into mafia history, there's a lot of mafia <laughs> history in Naples. Are you but into mafia if you're, history, If you Ted? like other things, it's where they filmed a lot of The Godfather. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but the, it's also where Pompeii is located, so the ruins of Pompeii. I, I actually have seen those ruins. It's kind of eerie. It's eerily fascinating. We use the it? same word. Yeah. Yes, it yeah. is. It's, it's this snapshot in time preserved. I mean, it's, it's very, very... You, you have to see it to, to really appreciate it. So is that a one day? Is that a one day So all the stops are going to be a one day stop. So you leave Rome in the evening, you get to Naples in the morning. Um, If you don't want to go to Pompeii, you could go to Capri, the island of Capri, you know, where the rich and famous like to play. Where do you you think I'd go, Ted? I think you'd go to Capri. You'd go to Capri and, (laughs) you know, being rich and famous yourself, you'd blend right in. (laughs) Exactly. Oh, goodness. (laughs) Or you could go to, to the Amalfi Coast. And that's where you see those, you know, hotels and villas that kind of cling to the sides of yes. the mountains. And so also a playground of the rich the and Richard famous. The rich and famous. Yep. Yep. So you might be torn. You might actually be spoiled for choice. And so, I should say this about this cruise. The, the cruise line we're sailing with is called Regent Seven Seas Cruises. And this is a 100% inclusive cruise. In that's each, unusual, yes, isn't it? Yes, it's very unusual. In fact, they're the only ones who do it. And so in each port, you can actually choose 
between a whole selection of shore excursions that are included in the price of the cruise. So if you want to go to Pompeii, you can go to Pompeii. If you don't want to go to Pompeii, there will be five or six other things you can choose to do. So everybody can kind of choose their own adventure as the cruise goes along. I love that. Yeah, yeah. It's a neat, neat, neat benefit. And is that a very big cruise line? It's a small ship. Okay. Um, the cruise line has six ships, but the ship only carries 750 passengers. So, so it's a pretty small ship. You've told me before that the smaller the ship, kind of the more luxurious your experience. Yeah. The onboard experience is going to be fabulous. The staterooms are lovely. I was on Regent in February, and I kind of just want to go back and spend a day in my in my stateroom. I don't need to leave. You know, it was really, really nice. But um, they have several restaurants on board that are all included in the price. So they have a main dining room. They have an Italian restaurant. They have an alfresco cafe. They have a um, French restaurant, a steakhouse, an Asian restaurant. You know, I could go on wow. and on. Yeah. So so everything is included in the price. And it's it's kind of neat because you can actually sort of leave your wallet at home and just enjoy. I love it. And you're really, your care is at home too, because you yeah. don't have to no. think on a cruise. The, the, the everything's most, taking care everything's of Everything's taken care of. You know, the most difficult decision is what am I going to have for dinner? And we work with everybody before the cruise to kind of plan their excursions so that that's all taken care of. And, you know, you just go up and go and enjoy. So Very, very relaxing. Wow, it sure sounds like it. So we're headed to Naples. Yep. And then, are we there a whole day? You'll be in Naples for a whole day. Okay. Yep. And then we're going to head across the sea a little bit to the island of Sicily. Oh, I see. And I've it. never been to Sicily, so I am really looking forward now, to Now to me this. that's true mafia territory. That is probably much more true mafia territory. Yeah. Yeah. Naples is just kind of an outpost. But Sicily is a beautiful volcanic island, has a lot of ruins, wineries, actually wineries that grow kind of up on the uh the cliff sides of some of these volcanoes that are there. So a really neat place to spend a day, totally different than the rest of Italy. A lot more rural, a lot less crowded than a big city. So so kind of a neat experience. And I do think that most tours don't go to Sicily. No, Sicily is off the beaten path. Yeah, I think this is really cool. Yep. There's actually no road to Sicily. So the only way to get there is to fly or take a ferry. So from Sicily, where do you head? So in Sicily, we're going to spend a day cruising through the Mediterranean. So you can just kind of sit back and enjoy the ship. And it is all inclusive. So Cocktails, beverages, alcoholic beverages are all included in the price. And then we're going to head to the island of Santorini in Greece. So Santorini, out of all the Greek islands, is probably the most famous and probably the most beautiful. And back in the day, you know, long before you or I were ever around, it was a real island. There was a whole island there. And then one day, the volcano erupted. And now all that's left is a little bit of a ring around where the volcanic cauldron was. So some people think that that Santorini is the place where, the site of Atlantis. I don't know for sure because the volcano buried everything (laughs) when it erupted. You know, Ted, I think that you are such a great tour guide. I I bet this will be a really fun cruise because I know how much you love history too. Yeah, and the history here is just, there's just so much history, history around every corner. So we'll spend a day in Santorini. You can enjoy the, the historic sites. There are some interesting ruins that have been excavated there. There are some really nice wineries in Santorini. If you like honey, for some reason, Santorini has a lot of bees. And so they, <laughs> they cultivate honey in Santorini. You know, one of those kind of who knew who do? types of a thing. You did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I've been there several <laughs> times. And it is, it is really a beautiful place. And it's kind of the quintessential Greek island. So from there, where do we head? Well, we're still heading east. Okay. And we're actually going to head east to Turkey and stop in a little town called Kushadasi in Turkey. Which there'd Have be you no, been to Turkey I have before? been to Turkey. I've been to Kushadasi. And there'd be no reason to go there except that the ancient city of Ephesus is located about 20 miles outside of the port. Wow. And so Ephesus was a big city back in the pre, pre-Christian in the times, back in the day. Yeah, it was kind of the Las Vegas of <laughs> maybe the Reno of, uh, Reno of the Roman Empire. But, um, of course, it's very famous for Christians because it's where the letters to the Ephesians that Paul wrote, they were sent to Ephesus. And there's also a house there where the Virgin Mary spent her retirement. And so after the crucifixion, she moved to Ephesus and she lived there until she died. So it's a very famous place. It's a really, really well excavated and really, really well explored ruin. So it's been reconstructed to quite a big degree. And so if you want to see what an ancient bathroom or an ancient living room, you know, with its inlaid tile floor or an ancient library or an ancient shop 
looked like all this stuff has been excavated and you can actually see it and you can see the floor plans and you know the guides are just superb they, they tell stories that really bring it to life and then it has a big outdoor roman amphitheater too so back in the day it was actually on the ocean and then there was an earthquake really? and now it's about 30 miles inland so wow. the port the port is closed so you have to go to Cushadasi instead and then you would take like a bus or something yeah, there would be an excursion that okay. would take you there Mm-hmm. So that is going to be what? Is that day four now? Five? I think we're up to day five, okay. maybe six. So then back into the Greek Isles, and mm-hmm. we're going to head to one of my favorite places to pronounce on the radio. Oh, boy. The Peloponnesian Peninsula. Peloponnesian yes. Peninsula. Okay. And to a little town that is the port for ancient Sparta. And wow. so remember the history. Spartans. Yeah, history. Can you imagine? Wow. Remember the Spartans? They were kind of the tough guys of, of the Greek times. And so um, the ruins of Sparta are visited from this nearby port. But you can also explore other areas of this Peloponnesian peninsula. And it's very hilly, very mountainous, very rural, very agricultural. So a very interesting part of Greece that most tourists never get to. Yeah, so, so neat neat opportunity to do that. Then we kind of keep going up the coast of Greece to a much more popular and well-known island called Corfu. And Corfu is probably one of the largest Greek islands. It's a large resort destination. It's also been a kind of a resort destination for the rich and famous back in the day. So there are a lot of quite large villas with elaborate gardens that the European royal families and European nobility in the 18th and 19th centuries built. So you get to explore sort of a more modern, you know, more civilized side of Greece as well. Then we're going to kind of keep keep chugging up the uh, coast of Italy and up into the Adriatic Sea to the city of Dubrovnik, which is in Croatia. And so if you've ever watched Game of Thrones, much of that is set in Dubrovnik. Um, apparently there was a Star Wars movie that was also filmed there. I don't know which one, so I, I missed that part. But it's an ancient walled city, and the walls of the city are completely intact. And so if you want to, you can actually walk around all the mm. walls of the city. But it's this, you know, intact, authentic, historic city that you can go through. But it's also in just a gorgeous, gorgeous place. So there are beautiful beaches there. There are wineries nearby, tons of opportunities to get out and explore the Croatian countryside. And Croatia is another one of those kind of often missed Mm -hmm. destinations that's really beautiful and and really worth a visit. And in fact, my first visit to Croatia was on a cruise, and I really didn't know anything about it. I kind of woke up in the morning, and I'm like, oh, so this is Croatia. Fell in love with it, and I've been back three times since then. So yeah, it's just a gorgeous place. Really, really neat. And so then kind of head north to the very tip of the Adriatic to Venice. And so the ship actually docks nearby in a city called Trieste, and you'll have a chance to explore Venice from the ship or some of the surrounding areas as well. So you're actually very close to the country of Slovenia if you wanted to pop over there, um, but most people will want to see Venice because it is really a, you know, a neat experience to see the canals and ride the gondolas and, you know, see all the carnival costumes and St. Mark's Cathedral. It's a, it's a really neat place. And as I said, there's a booking incentive right now that gives you a second night free in Venice at a hotel after the cruise. So a good opportunity to put this on the top of your bucket list and check it off. So is that the end of the cruise? Yep, is that that'll Venice? be the end of the cruise. Yep. And then you fly from there? You'll fly from Venice back to the United States. Oh, wow. And when I mention all-inclusive, this is an all-inclusive cruise. So flights are actually included to and from Minneapolis. And those flights will be in business class. So you'll be really, really well taken care of from the moment you get to the airport to the moment you get home. That's why it's called luxury travel. It's called a luxury travel. And yeah. adventures. Yes, yes. So both, both could, combined. You could have both of those you on could. this Mediterranean cruise. What do you think people don't know about that area? Of- Something interesting that I didn't, I never knew about the Mediterranean. Um, it's a big, it's an ocean. You know, it's a saltwater ocean. They don't have tides in the Mediterranean. The tides are like one or two centimeters. And why is that? I, I have no idea. But you know how because if you walk by the... Because it's kind of insulated or something? I, I, or? I think it has to do with where it is relative to the position of the moon. Mm. But you know how if you're on the ocean in the United States, you know, and you walk by and you'll see a dock there and then you come by three hours later and the dock yes. is, you know, down at the bottom of the, down at the bottom of a pile of mud. There are actually no tides in the Mediterranean. Um, the water in the Mediterranean is so unbelievably clear. It is. It's, it's so blue. It's so crystal clear. It's just, it's just beautiful. It's as beautiful as it looks in the tourist brochures. 
Wow. Yeah. And this cruise that we would be on, you said that everything is taken care of, which is really, I think, what people want, don't they? Yeah. I yeah. mean, I, you know, I think we all live pretty stressful lives. And, you know, a lot of us spend a lot of time making decisions, making decisions and making decisions sometimes for other people, you know, spouses and kids and stuff like that. And everything is taken care of. It, it's amazing how the stress just washes away when you're on a vacation like this. And if you want a little bit more stress, they do have probably the world's best floating coffee shop on this ship. So if you don't have enough stress, you know, have a couple cups of cappuccino and espresso and you'll be you'll be good to go. But yeah, it is just such a stress-free, such a relaxed experience. You're going to beautiful places. You're seeing places that are just incredible. And some of them are places that very few people have ever been. And what are the staterooms like? Yeah, so the staterooms are all going to be um, either mini suites or suites. So they're going to be a little bit larger than an average cruise ship cabin. Kind of the basic stateroom, it actually has two sinks in the bathroom. Nice. Um, most of them have a full tub and a full shower. Yeah, they have a really nice balcony. All the staterooms have balconies. And the, it's a big enough balcony that you can actually sit outside and enjoy it. The and you said you would want to because it's oh, so absolutely. beautiful. It's so beautiful just to sit out there and enjoy the breeze and, you know, enjoy that complimentary included glass of wine. They have an incredible room service menu. So one of the things I like to do on vacation is stay in the room for breakfast and have somebody else do the work and deliver breakfast to me. And they're not going to bring you a McMuffin and a coffee <laughs> to go. It's it's quite a nice breakfast. So everything is just, just really, really top notch. Um, but as you said, it's really stress-free and everything is taken care of for you. And what are the dates of this next year? So the cruise starts on August 14th and it ends on August 24th. What would the weather be like? Uh, the weather in the Mediterranean is really pleasant in the summer. It's going to be warm. I'm um, a little breezy. Another thing that a lot of people don't know about the Mediterranean is that it's not very choppy. So if you're a little bit prone to seasickness, the Mediterranean is actually a very, very calm sea. So it'll be pleasant weather. You know, you'll be along the coast, so the breeze will be nice. As you go inland, it can get a little bit humid. You know, it's not a cold time in the Mediterranean. The ocean will be a beautiful temperature. So if you want to swim in the ocean, temperature will be perfect. Oh, Ted. And again, people can learn more at an open house that you're having? Yep. So we're having an open house. It's coming up on Wednesday, August 3rd at 6 o'clock at the Lake Elmo Inn. And if you're interested in attending, just give me a call at 651-964-8245. So good to see you. This sounds so fun. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, Ted Blank. He is the owner of Ted Blank Luxury Travel and Adventures. And if you want to learn more, please do give him a call. This show is called The Travel Show.